So two and a half years ago, roughly, I started working this cellar hole. And it's been a great site. Massachusetts State Copper, half real, beautiful pair of cufflinks, actually both sets. Just lots of good artifacts. Well, only within a couple months of me starting to work this, a tree came down on one of the sides of the cellar hole on the lip. And I've been steering at it every single time I come through here or come back. So I finally put my pocket saw in with my gear and we're gonna get at it a little bit. And realistically, there may not even be anything to find under here, but I need to try and I need to know. The thing about this cellar hole is, if you can see all the rocks and bricks and such, is that they logged this, I don't know, 15 years ago? And they drove over the entire thing. So in the past couple of years, I have found lots of stuff shifted either under the rocks or right out on the surface. And I never really got to work this side. And today's a classic day. They're saying 75% chance of thunder shower. So at least here, I know if I need to, I can evacuate quickly. All right, let's cut some wood. And at least it's not crazy huge like some of these road closers that come down. Well, looks like there's half a dozen of these. Not too bad. They're all going against the back wall where they won't be an eyesore nuisance or in the way. Yeah, I hear thunder. All right. How's that for lip service? And again, there might be nothing here, but we have to check. And at least now, I can get in and move some of these rocks around too. Which have already been moved. is not sounding good. What I'm hoping to do is open up a pocket where there's lots of shards, glass and such, because then there's a good chance of well, scrambling something out of it. was something in there. It's a big iron thing. Oh, there we go. Now I see it. It's uh, the handle, which is broken. Side handle off a cast iron pot, bean pot vessel and such. Good. Somewhere. It 
it never fails. You clear all that and then you swing over where you haven't cleared and that's where you hear a signal. I was getting to it, but I'm running out of space as you can see against the wall. It's very tight between the side of the cellar hole to the retaining wall, which is good. But this is uh, kind of funny. That was an old tree. There we go. Aside from the bean pot handle, we got a spoon bowl. Itty bitty baby spoon bowl. So, a couple things we're hiding in here, at least on this side. under it and that definitely fell out of this wall uh, let's see I don't feel like breaking my back I'm trying to move that thing when I probably don't have to. Well, let's see what the rock fell on. Hey, bean pot leg. We'll get the thing back together eventually, right? Right. There you go. Goes to show. The stuff's been shifted and there could be anything hiding. tree stuff. Oh, I think we did it. Talk about working for it. So, under all this, Mission accomplished. A button. Fold the shank. It might have had a cover on it, looking at the face. But that was six inches deep under all that stuff. I barely locked on, but I locked on.
No idea. I've been doing this here in April. Oh. Wow. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> well, beating the crap out of this stuff is paying off. That looks round, and it also looks shiny. Oh boy. I have just been beating this stuff down with my coil. Oh my god. it but I want to see what it is it's a mercury dime silver baby <laughs> that is awesome I was thinking for a second there because I did dig a half real here but I'm just as happy with that all right let me properly clean it up so we can see it well, she's gorgeous, and she's over a hundred year old silver. Somebody passing through dropped her. This place has been long gone. Well before this drop. You never know what you're gonna find out here. Wow. I have been detecting this site for, like I said, a couple and a half years. So, to pull something like that out is quite rewarding. Well, I think we'll end on the silver note. So, not bad, actually. Where I cleaned is behind me, eight feet from the cellar, the retaining wall. I worked this side, that side, maybe a 20-foot stretch, and just beat the hell out of it. <laughs> and the coin was the biggest surprise, obviously. But we did get a couple more relics for a place that I just keep working. This is my, this is my standby for when it may rain because it's easy to get to, it's easy to get out of, and I always find something here. All right, thanks for watching, work for it, and I'll see you next time.